Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to look at the next 48 hours. What is the energy around you? What is the advice that you need to know? Keep in mind, this is general collective. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. We're gonna look at all signs, Aries through Pisces. I will put the timestamps down below. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Aries, the next 48 hours, what is the energy surrounding Aries? Okay, Aries, you could be in a partnership right now. You could be discovering that this partnership is something that you want more of a bond. There's something that maybe hurt or disappointed you in the next 48 hours, and you're going to realize the time has come that you and this person need to get it right. There's something about you discovering your worth and your value. In the next 48 hours, you're going to realize that you want so much more in your future when it comes to this person. You have a higher expectation than what you have before, and you expect this person to take the leap of faith. So if you live at a physical distance, you expect them to move or relocate to be closer to you. If you have been on separate pages when it comes to where the connection is going, you could be feeling like now is the time that you need your person to make a game plan. Maybe you've been wanting something more than what they're giving, but this connection, it feels like, needs to go to the next level because you're recognizing your value and your worth. So let's get one card of advice for Aries. For the next 48 hours, what is the best advice for Aries at this time? Caution. Proceed with caution when it comes to this connection and the decisions that you make because if you stay in the exact same pattern you're in right now and you don't get the change happening in the connection, you are going to continue to feel stuck or stagnant. Now proceed with caution on how you approach your person and how you need the change to grow and evolve in the connection so that you can both be on the same page. All right, Taurus, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, what is the energy surrounding Taurus in the next 48 hours? What's the energy around Taurus? Okay, so there is somebody that you have been stuck in a repeated section with this person. This person's emotions are not growing. They're not evolving. They're really not somebody that is wanting to open up with you about their feelings. Maybe this is a casual connection, not an exclusive partnership. Universe is saying in the next 48 hours, you're going to finally have to surrender to what you truly believe is keeping the two of you apart. You may have to take a leap of faith and go in the opposite direction of this person. You have to discover that you deserve so much more. We've got the Empress. Aries had the same exact energy, recognizing your worth and value. This person's not taking the lead to appreciate you, to value you. And something in your emotions in the next 48 hours is going to come to an all-time high of you realizing that, you know what, maybe it's time that I detach. Maybe it's time that I trust that somebody else out there will want to be with me, will want to give me the love and emotion that I truly desire. So let's get one piece of advice for Taurus. Ghost. If this individual is somebody who makes you feel ghosted, they go silent at times, there's a reason why they're ghosting you. And sometimes what you have to accept is uh, rejection is protection from the universe. All right, Gemini, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Gemini, what's the energy surrounding Gemini in the next 48 hours? You're going to be asked to compromise about something with this person that you're dealing with. Somebody from your past could have came back and they want reconciliation, but they want you to let go of something petty that happened, something that you haven't been able to let go of. It's time for you to realize that if you want this connection, there is going to have to be sacrifices made. And the sacrifice may be that you're not going to win this fight or this argument. Whatever you want this person to not let you let go, but they need you to let go, in order for this connection to come into reconciliation, you have got to let it go. You have potential with this person for something long-term, everlasting, for this reconciliation to be stronger the second go-around. But there is a need for you to recognize that the memories in the past the two of you had, you are connected more on a spiritual level. 
that if you love this person, you're going to have to detach and do the compromising. You're going to have to realize that compromising is something that is necessary for the connection to be able to move to the next level of reconciliation. Now, if you just can't and the obstacle or challenge is too much for you, then that's something that you're going to have to recognize that if you're not willing to compromise in the situation, that it's not going to work out for you. Okay, so let's get one piece of advice for Gemini. What is the best piece of advice that Gemini needs to know? What do they need to hear to serve their highest good at this time? Gemini. Use your intuition. Your intuition is never going to steer you wrong as long as it's open. So if you don't feel like you can make a decision, you feel a little bit murky or indecisive, that means your intuition is not open. You need to work on grounding your energy so that you can feel very confident to know, yes, I can compromise, I can meet in the middle, I can negotiate this. But if you feel that you can't do that, then your intuition may tell you that you shouldn't and maybe reconciliation is not going to be in the best interest for you. Cancer. All right, Cancer, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Cancer, what's the energy surrounding Cancer in the next 48 hours? You have um, somebody coming back to you. You have a soulmate that's coming back to you in the next 48 hours. This is somebody that you have a strong bond with. This person's changed a lot. So maybe you're married to this person, they're returning, or this is maybe somebody that you've loved your whole life, but you've been in separation. This person is trying to return to you because they want to take things to the next level. There it is, Ace of Pentacles. They want commitment with you. This could be somebody that you have a strong companionship with this person, but you haven't talked to this person in many, many years. Yeah, it looks like there's been silence for a very long time. I'm hearing six to nine years. This person wants a brand new opportunity. They're really excited. They're available. They're single. They know that you're single. Maybe they were looking at your social media. This person is wanting to come back home to you. So let's get one piece of advice for cancer. What is the best advice that cancer needs to know that's going to serve their highest good? What do they need to be ready for? And what's the guidance? Cleanse. Clear out your energy. Get to a place of peace. And don't let other people sway you on what your choice or decision is. This is your life and your choice. If you feel this is your soulmate you want to be with, there is potential for you to reconcile if that's what you want. You do have free will. Leo, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Leo, what's the energy surrounding Leo for the next 48 hours? Leo, somebody that you have blocked or denied is watching you on social media. They're watching what you're posting. They're watching your every move. Now you, I think, already know intuitively that this person is watching you, but this person is about to be above the surface. They're not going to be below the surface lurking anymore. They're actually trying to come towards you. This is somebody who actually lives at a distance from you. This is somebody who's completely fascinated with you. Look at this. We've got the Hierophant. This person's learned more about their feelings and emotions about you since the separation. What's the, the old saying? Um, distance makes the, the heart grow fonder. That's how this person feels. This person feels like they need to take action. They could be a Taurus. They could have fire in their chart. They are taking the lead to open up communication, but this is somebody you've blocked. You don't want any part of this person. This person is working around the blockage. They're trying to communicate with you because they have been observing you and they are curious about you and they're absolutely fascinated. But it does feel like even if this person comes towards you, you may actually reject them because you already have them blocked. What's the advice for Leo? Use your Leo inner strength and courage that if you don't want this person, you resist this person, then continue to maintain the boundaries that you've already set in place. But this person is trying to come back towards you, Leo. Virgo. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Virgo, what is the energy around you in the next 48 hours? Somebody is going to be chasing you, but this is somebody that lied to you, Virgo. Somebody that you thought there was potential with this person, but then you found out this person wasn't being honest with you. I'm hearing a friend of a friend is going to tell you something about this person. You're going to realize that they're just a big liar. 
So this person is going to try to come back towards you. They are going to try to chase you. There it is, the Knight of Swords. They want to come back and defend their stance. They want to defend what they truly believe to be the truth, which is not the truth. You're going to just sit and observe and listen to this person lie to you. Lie right to your face. Lie right to you on video. Right, lie right to you um, over the phone. You know your intuition is very strong. This communications coming in is all a bunch of bull hunky. That you know whatever this person's trying to say to defend their stance, it's not true. Maybe this person had somebody else. They didn't tell you they did. And you found out from somebody else they did. So let's get one piece of advice for Virgo. What is the advice or the guidance that Virgo needs to know to serve their highest good? Virgo. Protection. So protect yourself, protect your energy, protect your peace of mind of knowing you already know what the truth is. You are divinely protected. Libra, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Libra, what is the energy surrounding you the next 48 hours, Libra? Okay, so you're going to meet somebody, but you're going to be interested in knowing more about this person, but you may feel like they're, that you'd be settling if you actually learn too much more. There's something about this experience with this person. You're going to feel the vibe or the energy that this person is not of quality. You might be attracted to them, but then when you start talking to them, you're going to realize that they're maybe not the person that... They're telling you they are. Maybe you feel like they're just not being honest or you sense something about them. At first, you're initially curious about them. Maybe you meet them at a restaurant or a bar or something or some type of social gathering in, in outside in the community. But you're going to feel like you can't trust what they're saying to your face. It's not going to feel genuine. Three of swords. They might tell you they're single, but maybe you notice that they have a white ring around their finger where a wedding ring would be. Wheel of Fortune. Hangman, yep, you're going to surrender. You're going to let this go. You're going to keep it moving because you are going to realize that this person, whatever they're saying, it doesn't seem, doesn't match up. All right, let's get one piece of advice for Libra. What's the advice for Libra? Balance. Make sure your um, feelings and emotions are balanced out. And trust what your intuition is telling you because you're going to have red flags pinging all over you. You're going to be excited to talk to this person because you're very attracted to them. But once you start, they start talking, you're going to feel something's off. Maybe you see the white ring on their finger to knowing they're married, but they tell you they're single. There's something about balance out which you know to be the truth. Scorpio. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Scorpio, the next 48 hours. What's the energy surrounding Scorpio? Scorpio. You are about to receive a sense of stability and security when it comes to your job. If you've been waiting for a job offer or you've been waiting for um, a promotion to come through, in the next 48 hours, you're going to find out that you get it. You either get the job or you get the promotion. It's actually, look at this, victory and success. You are going to be so happy and so excited because this is something that you've been waiting for and you're going to actually go out and celebrate. When you find out you get the job or you get the promotion, you're going to be super excited. You're going to go out with friends and celebrate. So let's get one piece of advice for Scorpio. Ooh. Your happiness, you're so hungry for, keep going because whatever you're doing, you're emanating more happiness and that is congratulations on the promotion or the new job. Sagittarius. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, Sagittarius, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Sagittarius, what's the energy surrounding you in the next 48 hours, Sagittarius? Someone is fearing um, there is a little bit of a separation, um, maybe the next 48 hours with you and somebody. And because of that, you maybe are being silent towards this person. This person is, is starting to get a little bit insecure. So this might be somebody you're talking to, casually getting to know. Yeah, this person's a little bit confused. They want peace to know that 
the two of you are going to be together. There's something, some type of insecurity in the next 48 hours your person is feeling. They're feeling a little bit confused about the situation between the two of you. They need peace of mind from you. So you might be quiet. You may um, be silent from this person in the next 48 hours where you're used to talking a lot more. This person's going to start feeling insecure because they don't hear from you. What's the advice for Sagittarius? Peace. Find peace with what you know to be true, and if you um, want to talk to this person and give them the peace of mind, then you rightfully should. If you just need peace because you need a break from this person, you're entitled to do that also. All right, Capricorn, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48-hour turnaround. All right, Capricorn, what's the energy surrounding you in the next 48 hours? Capricorn, what is the energy surrounding Capricorn? In the next 48 hours. Capricorn, you got a soulmate that is coming towards you. They're heading right in your direction. Aggressively ready to pursue you. They're not wanting to let this connection go. You might be at a crossroads. Maybe this is somebody that you don't want anymore. Well, they still want you. They feel like you are their life partner. You're the one and only that they're supposed to be with. Yeah, they do feel this past life is strong energy. They do feel like it's fate and destiny that the two of you met when you did. And they're ready to come in and analyze the situation with you and let you know, hey, Capricorn, I want to be with you. I want to spend my life with you. Please don't block me. Please don't say no, yada, yada. But they are heading your way really quickly. So what's the advice for Capricorn? Follow your intuition. Figure out what you're determined when it comes to your own happiness. Is this a connection that you are determined to have? Will it make you happy? Use your intuition to make the best decision possible. Aquarius, you want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48-hour turnaround. All right, Aquarius, the next 48 hours, what do you need to know? What's happening for Aquarius? Okay, it looks like somebody is nostalgic. Somebody is observing your pictures on their phone, on social media, wherever they have pictures of you, maybe they have videos of two of you from the past, they're gonna be very nostalgic and they're feeling stuck because maybe you blocked this person. They're gonna to try to reach out to you and they're gonna find out that you actually blocked them. Okay, clarify. This is what they want. They want an opportunity to have another commitment with you. They want victory and success. They're trying to come your direction and they're because they're curious to know, are you available? But you've blocked them. So now they're realizing Man, maybe Aquarius didn't see me as their wish fulfillment. I see them as my wish fulfillment. It does feel like you're not interested. It feels like this block is just stuck. This person is going to realize they have to shift their focus somewhere else, and they're going to be really unhappy when they find out. They didn't know you blocked them. All right, yep, there's the great mystery. You want to know why they're coming towards you? Because they want a commitment. They want to be in a relationship with you again. Pisces. You want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Pisces, what's the energy surrounding you in the next 48 hours? Pisces. I knew it was going to come out. I was waiting. This was, I kept seeing it when I was shuffling. I was just, I was going to say, you're about to be in a commitment. Somebody's waking up to the feelings and emotions they have. They know that it hasn't been fair up to this point that they either haven't proposed or they haven't offered a commitment of exclusive with, between the two of you. This person is coming towards you to be able to let you know they've made a decision. They want you and only you. Whether it's till death do you part or whether it's, um, temporary for right now they only want to be with you they don't want to be with anyone else this is somebody who's obsessed with making sure that you know that they're all in because these emotions are finally realizing they need to progress it they have a lot of love and a lot of compassion for the situation this is somebody who really does want you to know that they're waking up knowing that the bond they have with you they don't have with anyone else and they don't want to lose that so they want to do the right thing and they're stepping up so what is the one piece of advice for pisces what do they need to know that's going to serve their highest good Pisces. Success. If you want this, you can have victory and success with this person. This could be the ultimate happiness that you've been waiting for. You're about to get it because you deserve it.